Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are delving into the captivating world of AI. So in this video, I'll guide you through the steps of creating your custom GPD, training it according to your needs. And not only that, I'm also going to be telling you like how you can publish that to your GPD store like in just few minutes. Okay, so you know, I'll guide you through the whole process of creating like your custom GPT and we'll also be delving into the details of that as well. So you know, whether you are a seasoned developer or a curious mind, so get ready to unleash your creativity and contribute to the AI revolution. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first of all, like what you need to do is you need to jump into your chat GPT and you need to make sure like you have this plus membership or you know, the plus version of chat GPT, which is GPT-4. Uh, so which is basically, you know, like $20 per month. And with that, you can access, you can get access to GPT-4, like the most capable model. You can browse, create and use GPTs. And you can access to additional tools like Dell, e browsing, advanced data analysis, and more. Okay, so you know, if you go ahead and get the plus version of GPT, so I think that's really value for money for that. You get tons of features and you can explore Chat GPT like the way you never have before. Okay, okay, so after you are subscribed or you know, you have got the plan of Chat GPT 4, so you need to go to uh, this explore option right over here. And you know what is basically uh, the plan of this video today? So you know, uh, in this video, we'll basically be creating a GPT which will tell us the information about anatomy and physiology. So let's just say you are a medical student, a teacher, or you know, just someone who wants to gain knowledge about like medical studies, like typically anatomy or physiology. So our this GPT right over here will basically you know uh, help you gain that knowledge, and you know it will basically help you a lot better than the normal chat GPT. So this will be like, you know, you can say a tailored version of chat GPT that will help you uh, in order to get knowledge of medical sciences, typically anatomy and physiology, okay? So yeah, after you have uh, got into your GPT, so over here, you need to click on create a GPT. So this is basically the beta version right now, but it's worse like really, really well. So, you know, this is kind of a new interface that you see now in chat GPT, you know, before that, you know, it was basically a lot simpler, so you need to type everything down. But now it basically works with prompts, you know, which make uh, the process of creating GPTs more and more like a lot efficient, okay? All right, so, you know, uh, first of all, the GPT builder right over here is going to ask you, hi, I'll help you with uh, like a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visual for new products. So it's asking what would you like to make? So let's just describe uh, this, you know, uh, GPT builder, like what exactly we're looking for and what kind of GPT we're trying to make. Okay, so I'm going to write in my prompt that, so I would like to create a GPT version that is an AI expert and who knows everything about medical studies, typically anatomy and physiology, okay? So now let's just go ahead and hit enter and see like what is going to save for me on that. All right, so as you guys can see, first of all, it's updating the GPT for me. So let's just wait for that. All right, so take a look at this. So it's a great choice. How about we name this GPT MediMind AI? Does his name sound good to you? And not only that, if you jump to this preview column right over here, so it's kind of a created a demo for us, you know, like, uh, like how our GPT is going to look like. So this will be our logo that, you know, you can basically go ahead and select or you can like upload yours. So I'll show you in a minute. So you say, yeah, expert in medical studies, specializing in anatomy physiology. We can edit that as well. And over here, it basically providing me uh, with the, you can say like conversation starters as well. Like, you know, if you want, so this is all like AI generated. So we didn't generate it by, because you know, the process had become a lot efficient as it was before. So it's saying like, you know, you can go ahead and select any of these questions, like explain the human security system. So, you know, it basically has given the conversation starter for us in order to, you know, get in more and more efficient, okay? So, okay, now let's just see what he's saying. He's saying, how about we uh, name this GPT Mary Mind? Does his name sound good to you? Uh, so I don't like this name at all. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to like give me uh, like five, four, uh, five more names to choose from. All right, so he's giving like, of course, here are five additional names from your consideration. So you can go ahead and name it like Anatomy Inside, Physio Intellect. MediLearn AI, HealthWise Bot, a Bioman expert. So I think, uh, you know, our like GPT was more specifically about anatomy. So I think the first name anatomy inside is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and copy, paste is right here. I'm going to say is, is fine. Okay. So I have selected that as my GPT name. Okay. So as you guys can see, now it's generating uh, the profile picture for us because our, you know, uh, the name has been finalized. So, you know, now it's basically creating a logo for us. Okay. 
So you can go, go ahead and get help from ChatGPT AI for this regard. And if you want, you can upload that later that I'll be showing you in a minute. But I think, so yeah, I think this is absolutely perfect, you know, because uh, it's uh, a lot revolving around like anatomy as well as AI. So, you know, I think this suits perfectly what we are looking for in our GPT. So I think you like to probably which you would like to have any changes to it. So for now, I think uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this profile picture. So I'm going to say... Like, yeah, I'm good uh, with this profile picture. Okay, so you're saying, great, let's define the context of our anatomy inside. First, uh, let's focus on his uh, role and goals. Considering as an AI expert in medical studies, particularly in anatomy and physiology, how would you like to interact with user? Should it be like uh, like a tutor for students, a reference for professional, a general guide for anyone interested in topic? So let's just say I say to ChatGPT, like I want it to be like a tutor for students, okay? Because that is the motive uh, for me because it's a guide for the students okay so whenever like whoever you are you want to gain knowledge as a student teacher or anyone you know are like, curious to get knowledge so i think this gpt will be uh the set goal for uh that particular person so i'm gonna prompt her like all right so you're saying okay now let's talk about what anatomy inside should emphasize or avoid in this interaction are there specific ties or responses or topic that we should prioritize or avoid it for example okay so i think you know, uh, the pretty much the front page or you can say the home page of a GPT is like all sorted and it's all created, okay? So if I can go ahead and jump to this button right over, which is configure. So, you know, over here, we'll basically get a lot more options to basically customize and, you know, change the GPT style like you want. So you can go ahead and change the name right now. You can go ahead and change the description, which is right over here. And you can go ahead and change the instructions as well if you want, like the whole, uh, you know, topic of your GPT. So you can go ahead and like edit or change the conversation starters as well. And okay, so over here we have button on knowledge, which I'll get to you in a minute. And then we have capabilities. So let's just go ahead and click web browsing and dial image generation, code interpreter. I don't think we require code interpreter in this kind of GPT. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that, like unclicked. Then we have create new action. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump to this knowledge. So this knowledge, so over here, saying if you upload files under knowledge conversation with GPT might may include file contents, files can become downloaded when code interpreter is enabled, okay? So over here, basically you can upload files, okay? Like PDFs, like whatever kind of file that, that contains information. So this particular GPT right over here is gonna be, is gonna train itself according to the knowledge you're gonna provide. So you're gonna like add as many PDFs as you want and it's gonna use all the information from that PDFs and you know, it's gonna help that person according to the information or according to the prompts that it's going to ask, okay? So this is a very important and a very useful feature. So I'm just going to go ahead and upload files of the PDF that I downloaded earlier, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so these are the PDF that I downloaded from, uh, you know, Google, like a third-party website. So, you know, this basically contains everything about anatomy and physiology. So these are like very much long 500, 600 pages PDF. So we have like volume one, volume two, and volume three. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload all of this to my knowledge uh, source in my like GPT right over here. All right, so I uploaded all of that. So it's gonna take a little bit of while in order to upload because obviously our PDFs well, you know, like uh, quite bulk in uh, in size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that. All right, so as you guys can see right over here, so my PDFs have been uploaded and you know, it basically will now get like the whole information from the PDFs and it's gonna help my GPT a lot in that process. So, you know, that's really cool. Okay, now, and if I can go ahead and click on additional settings, so we have used conversation data in GPT to improve our models. So obviously, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, click on that. All right, so seems like, you know, our uh, GPT is like completed and ready to go. So if I can go ahead, you know, and just test this GPT out. So let's just say if I want to ask, like, explain the human circulatory system. So if I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. So it's searching my knowledge is basically, you know, using my PDFs to get knowledge from that. And let's just see how it's gonna. Uh, help me in that and how efficient is going to be with the knowledge that I provided to this particular GPT. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, showing the human security system, also known as cardio cardiovascular system, is a complex network that serves with a critical function delivering. So it's basically, you know, give me all the important points of the human security system as well. So somehow it's basically using the knowledge that I provided and with the help of, you know, you know, a little touches of AI is basically, you know, doing all the work for me. Uh, is uh, giving the points, is, is explaining, is describing each and everything. So that is really, really cool of the GPTs, you know. So if you go ahead and search this in chat GPT, you won't get like as factual, as accurate answers as this particular, you know, like GPT will gonna tell you on that. So I think that's really, really amazing. Okay, so all right. 
So our GPT is all done and set up and ready to go. So now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and go to the save button and you can go ahead and confirm this GPT and you can select public. So this will basically help you to, you know, uh, make your GPT public and, you know, you can go ahead and publish that in the store so that people can use it and you can also earn revenue out of that GPT as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and select public and hit confirm. All right. So this is our GPT that we just created a few minutes ago. So as you guys can see, we have a whole new option of our GPT, you know, uh, is showing right over here. So now, you know, our GPT is public and if you can go ahead and search anything from here, let's just say I am asking like, how does the respiratory system regulate pH levels in the body? So it's searching my knowledge once again, and let's just see how it's going to help me in that. All right, so as you guys can see, the respiratory system plays a crucial role regulating the pH body. So it's saying number one is chemical reaction in the lungs. Then he has CO dilation at just blood pH. Influence of oxygen levels. So it's basically showing all the correct information about the prompt that we provided to this amazing GBD, which is anatomy inside. Okay. All right. So as you guys can see right over here, like our GBD is public. So, you know, it's basically public to the store. As you guys can see right over here is showing like our GPD has been published to the chat GPT store. Okay. So anyone can browse uh, through our GPD. So as we don't have the official store of chat GPT for the GPD store, but you know, uh, there are a few ways uh, you can like get to know like your GPT is public in chat GPT. So, you know, first of all, if you can go ahead and then select public and you're going to upload that. So it's going to basically provide you the link. It's saying your GPT is published you, as you guys can see right over here. So it's going to provide you the link. You can go ahead and copy this link and, you know, come to the new tab, paste it right over here. So it will directly direct you to the GPT that you have over here. Okay, so this is the first method. You can go ahead and share the link to, you know, anyone, you're like your friends. You can go ahead and like, upload that to social media or anything so that people can use your GPT and you can, you know, get help. You can get revenue from that. So this is the first method. Okay. All right. And the next method could be like really, really interesting, which is like a third party uh, chat GPT, GPT store. Okay. So, so the best of all is GPTshunter.com. So, you know, over here, you can basically go ahead and browse through the, like all the awesome GPT. So it's saying that like, it contains 7,000 like sorry 70,053 GPTs found and counting okay so then you can basically go ahead and browse through all the GPTs that you know like people have created and they have published right over here so you can publish uh, to this store as well which is really really simple so you can go ahead and click on this option like submit your awesome GPT and you know that after that it's going to provide you the email you know through which your chat GPT plus has been subscribed and along with that you can also need to put the link of your GPT okay all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and write the email over here right away. And in the links, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to my chat GPT, copy this link, come to over here and paste it. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit. All right, so it's saying submit done. Your GPTs will be in desk in few minutes. Okay, so after a few, few minutes, basically you'll get a confirmation email in which you'll say like your GPT has been published. And you know, after that, you'll be able to see your GPT in the store, which is GPT's Hunter. So that is another very cool method of uploading your GPT to GPT store. So, you know, like people will start searching, start using your GPT and you can earn revenue out of that in no time. All right. So, yeah, I hope you uh, like this amazing tutorial of how you can basically create your own GPT and you can publish that to a GPT store, like official store and, you know, the third party store as well. So, yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.